Greetings. Hey, hey. Good evening. Afternoon. Morning. Hello. Alcat baby. Snake bite. Aaron. Welcome. OMG, yes. Are you a fan of this game? How's it going, everybody? I had this game on 386, 25 megahertz. Oh, that's great. I only ever played the demo of this game. I couldn't run the game and sound at the same time. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty cool. I don't know what any of the sound effects are. This will be so rad. So have you finished this game? A demo that came on the CD. With the same engine where it was in a toy store? Oh, that might, I might have that too. Uh, it's like Jack alone in the, Jack in the dark. Wallaby, Lollaby, hello, greetings. Nyan subs coming in. Or just one in particular. <laughs> hello, hello. How's it going? Promo thing takes like 10 minutes to play. Okay, I'll, I'll play that after this. Damn, got a bunch of Nyan subs. Cool, I'm into it. Get your Gengars in chat. <clears throat> okay, well, let's see. What day is it today? Uh, Tuesday? Cool, what are you guys up to? Anybody doing anything fun? Watching Twitch? Yeah, I've never really played this game. I played the demo, which was very brief, if I remember. And I just never... I don't know, never went back and played it. But we're checking it out. So far, so good. It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. And I, and I don't know anything... Like, don't know anything. I'm spoiler free, going in blind. Um, last time, I was at a bit of an impasse, but I did have an idea. Which was... <laughs> Oops, getting stuck. Right, in this room... There's a native gentleman at the end of the hall shooting arrows. I was wondering if maybe I could shoot arrows at him? The jankiest controls, yeah. Tank controls? with keyboard arrows. It's pretty crazy. Um, where was that room with the bow? I love how slidey it looks. It, it is a bit slidey. Um, the hardest thing for me, aside from just the way that it is, um, to run, you have to double tap forward and the timing is kind of specific. Like, more specific than I would have liked. Okay, so my idea was, let's maybe... 
Uh, try to shoot arrows at that arrow shooter guy. But also, how do we deal with the spiders that spawn here? I don't know. Got our arrows. Now get out of here. Let the spiders surround you. <laughs> I think they respect the boundary of the doorway. I was thinking maybe we could try the sword on them. Poker. Or a knife. I don't know. Everett went into making those stairs aligned his stepping. I'm sure it was ridiculous. Yeah, they follow spider law. So I've never used the bow. But I was looking at the... <laughs> I was looking at the instruction manual and it lists all the different weapons and how to use them. It doesn't list the bow. Which makes me think it's not really a weapon, it's like a tool. I don't know if that's true. It also kind of has like a... Like... Like a... Tribal... Accoutrement. Those feathers. It's It's got some green on it. I don't know. This is where... This is my current line of thinking. I was talking, I was starting to talk about that last night, but I didn't quite, I don't know how we would use it though. Bro, <laughs> where did that go? Oh shit. <laughs> You gotta watch out. That could that could really hurt someone. How do you use this? <laughs> okay. Oh, the, he just does it. Oops. Can't really see. Oh. Oh, I shot two. I didn't mean to. Oh. Did that work? What just happened? I think it worked. Why isn't my camera changing? It worked. But I didn't need to use both arrows. Okay. Major breakthrough. Wipe restart. Low arrow run. Low arrow percent. Oh, where was this hiding? Oh, this room, the camera angles are crazy. Uh, we learned the hard way last time that you don't want to just read every book you come across willy nilly. They could cause you to go insane. At least temporarily. Okay. Not really sh understanding the shape of this room. It looks like you can push this. There's like something behind it. I always forget push is an option. Oh, yeah. Aha. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice room. Yeah, I saw that little crack uh, poking out behind it. You, a few pixels of crack. Okay, now let's save and then read this book and the parchment.
It's a fake book. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> False book. Okay. I got an idea. The Creatures of Night by Hubertus uh -oh. Hall. Translated from Latin by his brother in prayer, Fratre Johann Marcus. I got a bad feeling about this one. Of monstrosity. You who read me <coughs> know that night engenders monsters and that night creatures exist. The accursed book of Abdul al Hazred is clear on this matter. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Unhappy he who knows that book. Okay, so this is a warning about the other book that I found first. Unhappy he whose eyes alight upon that foulest of texts. <laughs> Unhappy he who implores the standing stones. For he will free the powers of darkness. Yeah, I'm unclear about the standing stones. Another... I, maybe it was the Abdul book that talked about that, but I've definitely heard something. It had audio. The CD-ROM version did, which is the version you can get on GOG. Yep, all the texts are voice acted, and they're pretty good, actually, mostly. Of the pit. Stagnant waters are like the memory of men. Beneath the surface calm, clawed beasts await and are known to initiates as the Deep Ones. Awaiting his prey, the Deep One seizes him and drags him down to the abyss, where Dagon, the cruel god, swims and reveres him whose name may not be pronounced. Of libraries, Unhappy he who frees the prowler. Mm. Unhappy he who meets the prowler erring among the books. Okay. He generates the vagabond that comes from other spheres. He believes the vagabond does not exist. He will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the vagabond, books are no more than dreams stone no more than wind what? the vagabond knows how to take the breath of the reckless i'm sure i don't know what that means oops they go the right way of strife he who speaks does not know and believes he is able to kill the creatures of the night folly, folly. Evil is conjured up by science and secrecy. What's the rest of this? He who prowls among the books will perish by the blade. He who flies in the dark caverns will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate, but he who believes... Okay. Among okay. Okay. Perish by the blade. He who flies in the dark caverns will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate. But he who believes he knows, knows nothing. <laughs> he who knows, says nothing. Of death. A lot of stuff there here. are domains more terrible than death. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Each creature is conjured up and is not dead but returns to the origins. A monster, a science. Steel kills the vagabond Eel. who never dies. Vagabond. Translator's note. Here ends the manuscript of Hubertus, who died in the library of the convent of Teruella in the year of our Lord, 1666. Requius Scott. Requius Scott. Pace picante sauce. 
Okay, so there's a lot of information in here, some of which might be hints. Using the blade on the library ghost, maybe? Um, perhaps? I also wanted to take the false book to the library. Requiem Scott and Pace Medium Chunky. <laughs> it's made right here in San Antonio. Um. Okay. Oh yeah. When I started this game, I thought, "Ooh, this game is Lovecraftian or Lovecraftian, Lovecraft esque," but. No, it's it's like directly referencing stuff from the books, which is pretty cool. Like a lot of references to entities and stuff and lines right from the Lovecraft stories. We can go ahead and save. Sick transit, Gloria. <laughs> oh, shoot. Thought this game was Lovecraftian, but no, it's very Lovecraftian. Exactly. Thought it was mildly Lovecraftian. No, sir. Okay, can we... I gotta get some space. Spacing. Ugh. Can you move? Can't run for whatever reason. It's too hard. <laughs> there we go. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I wanted to put this somewhere. Can we just set it in a corner? Ghosts hate lanterns? Yeah, they do. Everybody knows that. Dude. Okay, put this down. Leave the light on for you. Tombow Dut. For Motel 6. Let's get our sword. This guy the business. Big overhand or overhead. <laughs> Am I like misaligned? Or does it just not work? Oh god. Ooh, okay. You gotta be careful swinging these uh, the sword like next to objects. Because it will break. Try that again. Maybe this is not the guy they were speaking of. <laughs> it broke. It broke. <laughs> Throw the poker. Okay. Throw the blade. I don't think this was the course of action we wanted. Ah, I'm so stuck. Okay, okay. Let's try this again. Dang, durability down? Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, you think it's going well? Maybe I should have stuck with it. Okay, so who were they talking about then in this Creatures of the Night? Of Mont. Unhappy he whose eyes alight of the pit of libraries. Unhappy he who is that the prowler? the prowler? Unhappy he who meets the prowler erring among the books. He generates the vagabond that comes from other spheres. Or is that the he vagabond? The vagabond does not exist. Hmm. He will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the he will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the vagabond, books are no more than dreams, stone no more than wind of strife. 
He who speaks does not know. Yeah, he who prowls and among the books studied the blade. The of the night. I bet that fake book goes in the bookcase somewhere. But I also wanted to just try throwing it at him. While you were prowling among the books, I studied the blade. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. You got it. Bet a library ghost hates fake books? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm betting my life on. Gotta line it up. We're pretty close here. <laughs> okay. Ooh, nice dodge. Leave the oil lamp. I'm stuck. What am I stuck on? Oh. Yeah, I've got infinite ammo. Oh. Okay, that doesn't work. Quick, try the sword again. Okay, what's the load? Okay, I'm not sure what to do with that. Let's not worry about that right now. We've got a key as well that we can use. Oh, you know what though? I did want to try, while we're here, one more idea with the library. Because there was a really suspicious looking bookcase. Let's try to put the false book in it. This one. Extremely suspicious. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. Oh god, he's coming through the books. Let me light this lamp. <clears throat> Deathbird, greetings. What is up? Hello. How are you? Mm, do I not have my matches? I figured I wouldn't need them. Alright. Alright, buddy. <laughs> I love the way his head swivels when he runs. That's my favorite part of this. Getting the good head swivel. Still don't know what the jug might be used for. Oh, it looks real familiar. Does it now? That hallway was your childhood. RE1 vibes? Yeah. feel like they this had to have been like a major influence right on re1 this came out four years prior which is pretty impressive i think okay not that door 
library ghosts hate when you're late for dinner. <laughs> it's true. They do. Is this the vagabond? I don't know. He just looks like a schmohawk. Okay, just take a wide berth. Okay. Can't run. Here we go. Got it. Let's think. Where were the other doors? Oh, yeah. Isn't there one right here? Yeah. Nope. Hmm, where else? Oh god. How long did the first room take you to figure out? Uh, not too long. That part went pretty smoothly. It's everything after that that's been <laughs> a challenge. I mean, I died like several times while I was trying to figure stuff out. I feel like that's unavoidable. Oops. Where am I going with this key? Surely it unlocks something <clears throat> we've seen before. Kind of going in circles. Let me refresh my memory. What's in here? Oh yeah, it's dark. Never mind. I don't need to be refreshed. Okay, so there's there's the door. Oh yeah, is there another door in the kitchen? I think I have two keys right now that I have not been able to find uses for. Dude, this oval thing on the table is so suspicious. Is it just like a like an anomaly in the wood. This door stays locked. You don't want to open that door. Bad idea. Oh yeah, there's a door in here, right? Oh, that worked. Wait, did it? Oh, am I opening these wrong? Oh, that did work. I took a lot of damage, though. Can we do that over? That smoke hurts so much. Yeah, I think I've been trying to unlock the doors incorrectly. I don't know, actually. Controls are pretty crazy in this game. Okay, I've been sitting on that key for so long. I didn't realize you had to select it and then hold space. Key to the cellar. Uh-oh. Is 
Are these rats friendly? Are you friendly? You don't look friendly. Are you hissing at me? Okay, they don't, I don't think they're friendly. Damn, that guy's out for blood. Let me get... God, these spiders are still at large, too. I wanted to try using the knife on the, on the spiders. I was hoping it would be more durable uh, than the saber, swinging that saber around at spiders. Need to release snakes to eat the rats? But then what do we do about the snakes? Release some mongooses? Mongeese? What's the plural of mongoose? Leave the snakes alone, they're fine. Mongo pods? <laughs> I never would have guessed. Oh god. How do I aim down? Okay, this does not seem like the move. Just touching them is bad. Okay, I think we can... Uh, disregard that strategy. Can we throw this book at him? Throw the book at him? Another spider law reference? Getting low profile like crazy? I know. I feel like you should be able to just run on, run on top of them. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how we're ever going to get through there. That's okay. How am I going to hit these rats? They're also, that's the same issue is that they're low to the ground. But maybe a knife will work. Oh god, I can't see the angle. Oh fuck yeah! Oh he's alive! What? <laughs> This guy is buff. I got him right where I want him, though. Dude. Oh, I missed. Over for me. These rats are invincible. Okay. Looks like we're going to need something with a little more kick. <laughs> missed. Somehow I missed. I don't know how. I don't think you can aim downward. Can you? <laughs> this game is so sick. Look at these guys. Rat Kicking Simulator 1992, yeah. That's pretty cool. I'll get a better view of this. 
Some of the enemies in this game just seem straight up invincible. Like, what am I supposed to do? Rats have a thousand HP. They're rats. Hyper realism. <laughs> Maybe there's some other way to kill them. Or maybe you can't kill a lot of stuff in this game and you're just supposed to like run away. All right, all right, all right. The noise they make is pretty funny too. A lot of noise for a little rat. Hey, they're staying away from me. I wonder if they may, what if they don't like the light, maybe? You know? Maybe the light. Oh, but then I can't search. Let's see. Uh, they like the light just fine. <laughs> they don't mind it. It's, they prefer it, in fact. Got some bullets. Okay, so they're pretty slow. They're like closing in on me though. Any casts of Amontillado down here? <laughs> I hope so. Yes. A block. Oh, what? Took a shitload of damage from that. Oh my god. Let's just search around while we're still living. Aha! Street Fighter 2 bonus stage out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It was like the Street Fighter 2 bonus stage. That is true. Oh god, I have one health. Okay, let's try that again. We're learning. Okay, we got bullets. There's a book. And then there's that barrel situation. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Scared the shit out of me. And then, how do we address this? Can we do it from a safe distance? Okay. Kind of looks like you could push this thing at the end. But, no, it's like too big, I guess. Oops. Get out of here. Oh, not like this. Oh my god. Okay. Uh oh. What is that? 
Uh, is this guy huge? He looks huge. I can't. <laughs> I can't see my guy. How's it going up there? I wonder. <laughs> Okay, whoops. Kind of snake guy down there. I wonder what I could do with a block elsewhere. Hmm. Okay, let's do this better. Can we get a run, please? Oh, no. Oh, damn, I thought I was gonna crush the rat. <laughs> Instead, I got myself. I wonder if you could do that. Crush those rats. Crush the rats. Damn. Okay. Come on, man. Hassling me. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't know if we want to go down there. I guess... Let's get... <laughs> the rats! Let's get over there and save it. We'll try it out. Oops. Uh. Am I dead? Oh, I left. I didn't mean to do that. Is he going to be right here? Oh, okay, maybe this is the strat. It looks friendly? Oh, okay. Is he pushing me out? I'm not sure what's happening. I'm not trying to leave. <laughs> okay. Let's try a different approach. <laughs> what? Look at this guy. <laughs> Does it still look friendly to you? Because he's kind of smiling. Okay, look, that guy, let's leave him be for now. Extremely friendly. Wow. 
I really like this guy. I like the look of this guy. Okay, and I think we opened a door, right? Um, we have so much stuff. Oh yeah, did we look at the book? The trial of Captain Priggs. Priggs. As reported by his faithful companion, Elisha Smith, known amongst his fraternity by the awful name of Captain Ellie L. Transcribed from the log found aboard the wreck of the frigate Astarte by mm. H. Hartwood. Interesting. By all the devils, roared Pregsd, glaring at William, the judge. Curse it, Will. It'll take much more than every cannon in the blasted navy to make me change my mind. You're the greatest blagger that ever joined our fraternity. Am I not Pregsd? Captain of the Astarte and bloodiest villain in all the seven seas. Life story incoming. Bloody Ezek, they call me. And you think I'll tell you where I hid my treasure? The tribunal of the Corsair's fraternity murmured at this. Pregsd was indeed all he claimed. The judge, one-eyed William, slammed his fist on the table and silence was restored. Shut your mouth, Pregsd! <laughs> you didn't pay the fraternity its rightful share, and that means only one thing. You'll hang by the neck from a yard arm, you scurvy cur! <laughs> Here's the rope twisted by Satan himself! You threaten me, Will? Many a man better than yourself has lived to regret holding a cutlass in my face. You'll be begging for mercy, mark my words! That shook one-eyed William, and no mistake. Danny waved his hook in the air and shouted, Prext was always a loudmouth. The law says we hang him. The jurors took up the cry, Hang him! <laughs> it was Pregg's turn cool to voice slam his fist on the table. He threw back his head and roared with laughter. <laughs> you fools! You want to kill what will never die? Try it! Once more, the assembled corsairs murmured. There was unease in the air. They remembered what happened to Chuck, the gizzard slitter, the man who opened his mouth once too often. It was night, and a bitter wind whipped the New England coast. Snug inside the Dead Horse Inn, one of the Astartes' men was talking. His name was Chuck, and his subject was Black Magic. Chuck, huh? He told stories of human sacrifices, voodoo rites, and zombies. He told a tale of a time when their luck was down and they were holed up in a Florida swamp. Prigged went missing. When he returned, he shouted, Tis the devil that guides us now, me hearties! <laughs> Whether that was true or not, the Astarte began taking Oops. loot after juicy loot. Damn juicy? The favorite song of the Astarte's men, Crash the Bones, was replaced by a new one. A skull. Go to Port Saber. To starboard. Pass over that will, and with death you'll deal. If you cut a rope, cut the right, I hope. Or then, I don't mind. The death you will find. Better than RE1 by a lot. Yeah, I agree. The next day, as you may have guessed, Chuck's body was found with a dagger plunged between his shoulder blades. Chuck's face was Jeez. a ghastly grin. Molten lead had been poured down his throat. That does not sound good. Whatever way things happened next, and I don't have the details. Prext was with us again, and we set sail for Florida. We anchored the frigate not far from New Orleans. Taking a few trusted companions with him, Prext set off into the swamp. They carried large wooden chests with them. Two days later, we heard shots being fired and screams. Pregsd arrived soon after that and claimed they'd been attacked by alligators. <laughs> he alone managed to escape with his life. Likely story. 
He went on to say <clears> that the time had come to share out the spoils of our many loots. I was given command of the Estarte, while Prext handed three chests over to the crew. The chests were full of gold and precious gemstones. The rum flowed that night, and the stars shone bright. All at once, I noticed a tall man dressed in black. Pregs introduced him to me. Here's a hearty mate. You can call him Keith. Many a tale he could tell. Pregs laughed loudly and held up a roll of parchment. <laughs> and his hideout. None better. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Cut off the, the laugh. fell to the ground, partly unrolling. I noticed what seemed to be a map of underground tunnels. A veritable maze of caverns. Pregst continued. I'm giving up the pirate's life. The Astarte is in your hands now, my lad. She's a fine ship and my reputation goes with her. Should any man call me coward, then break his head for me. I'm leaving you only because I found a treasure more precious than the purest of gold. <laughs> Keith spoke to him then. It is midnight. They are ready and we must go. The stranger turned his cold eyes on me cool and voice. said in a soft, chilling voice. Sometimes Pregst talks too much. Forget what he just said. And maybe you'll live. The fellow's words froze the marrow in my bones, and it was all I could do to mumble. I'll not breathe a word. The canoe slid away into the night. Their torches disappeared in the distance of the swamp. My snoring companions <coughs> the insidious. In closing, using the first aid kit, honey, ghost, you be seeing, matey. <laughs> okay. You never know how these things are gonna relate. Like, are there hints in there? I don't know. Mega! Hey, thanks for the sub. Welcome. How's it going? Nice emote. Uh, just in time. Oh, not quite break time yet, but almost. Um. Oh yeah, I have that other key. Oh, does this just lead into that room? Didn't work, right? Oops. Oh yeah, there was the smoking room. Oh shit, this is it. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. Now this looks like a sarcophagus or something, but it might be a desk. Unclear. Ooh, another sword. And shield. Ooh, a record. And a book. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> wow, this is nothing? This thing looks like a monster. Like, it's gonna get up and crawl around. And maybe it will. There's a mechanism to trigger. What? 
Okay, maybe we'll read that book first. There's a mechanism to trigger. The tale of Captain J.W. Norton of the Army of the Union. 1862. The South was in collapse. Louisiana <laughs> was open to us. I had each day to requisition victuals for our troops and was aided in this endeavor by a score of brave men. Rebels were not yet ready to lay down their arms. The region was far from safe. I headed further and further west and questioned many freed slaves. From them, I learned of a plantation on the coast. Ah. Its name was Dersetto. What's this place? We received a less than hearty welcome. Only Pickford, the owner, behaved in a friendly manner. While my men counted cattle and grain reserves, I learned what I could from him. The man was most unusual and possessed an extraordinarily cultured mind. At nightfall, I gave orders for the men to bivouac at Dersetto. Pickford invited my second-in-command, Lieutenant Patterson, and myself to dine. Ended, and our host proved the most. We Whoa. received a less ended, and our host. We received a less than hearty welcome. Okay, sorry. Our host proved the most entertaining conversationalist. While coffee was being served. Patterson went to inspect the men's camp. The cigar Pickford offered me was so acrid that my head began to spin. Damn. I remembered campfire tales of fellow officers trapped by devilish Confederate tricks. Smoking my jazz mind cigarettes? Was in a foul and dense fog from which emerged <laughs> the enlarged and deformed face of Pickford. He grinned at me. Patterson's return chased off the nightmare. I heard shouts and firing from outside and found the strength to take out my revolver. I fired three shots. Pickford fell to the floor. Patterson then helped me out of the burning house. Whoa. The air was filled with smoke. We resembled a company in disorderly retreat. I saw slaves leaping into the flames of that inferno. They were trying to save Pickford's life. Weird. Spooky. There is a mechanism to trigger. I wonder if this is where I use the heavy, uh oh, heavy statue. I'll get out of here. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Me out. Oh, took damage. <sighs> Load it. Don't have the reserves. I guess we could go eat that soup. Not a big deal. Let's drop off some of these books too. Although there might be hints in them, but um, we don't need to carry so many around. <laughs> I feel like I should have made the, like a book section. I just made a book section. I guess I kind of have. This one I feel like might be the most useful. Let's hold on to that for now. Oh, the key to Jeremy's study. Ammonia particularis.
feel like we got what we needed from those keys. I don't know. Now let's pick up this thing, heavy statuette. I wonder if we can do like an Indiana Jones move where we swap the shield and sword for the statuette. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Have I played Shadowgate on stream? I don't think so. I have played Shadowgate though. That game is hard. Where was I going? Oh yeah, shield and sword. Ah, don't do it. There's no room. I don't understand what this means. There's a mechanism to trigger? What does it mean? Aha! Oh, I put this other sword on it. I get it. Cool. Oh, I didn't take the record before? Wait, or the book? The tale of Captain J.W. Norton of the... 1862. Oh, we just read this. Patterson. Did I die or something? I can't... I don't remember. Maybe I died. Okay, let's just save it here. I touched the smoke and then loaded. I think that's what happened. Okay, now let's go to that. Oh, the spiders are in the way. Dude, there's got to be a way. Like the lantern, spiders hate light. They don't give a fuck. Dude, these spiders are messed up. Am I just hosed? There's got to be a way to deal with them. What am I doing? Can't move. Uh-oh, what happened? Well, I just saved. Got a... I think I might have found a bug here. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, well, it's time to take a break anyway. This is kind of a good place. We'll just chill right here. Um, I'm going to take five minutes, get a drink, stretch my legs, etc. I'll be back in like five. Okay, keep an eye on Karn B. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Right back.
Okay. Did we fix it? No. Did that fix it? No. Spiders really messed me up, man. Yeah, I want to go use this record, but the spiders are in the way. I was thinking about this when I left my... Or when I got those arrows, what am I going to do about the spiders? I was thinking of trying to like, I don't know, pour water on them or something. I don't know. Get the jug and pour some water on the, on them. Now the jug, where's the jug? Jug is up here. Quick uh, reflexes here. Want the jug? I want to get out. Oh. Go, oh, you fool! Oh, nice, good moves. Really good moves. We got both run commands. First try. That's a rare situation. Okay, so we've got the jug. Now there's water somewhere. I don't think it's in the, is it in the kitchen? In the coal room? No. Oh yeah, yes. You fill the jug. Okay, I have water. I don't know what it's for. What is up with this thing? Eat drink. Uh, uh you try it? <laughs> I don't think I would want to drink that water out of that barrel, but who knows? Bottoms up. Some stagnant water. Uh oh. Alright, <laughs> I'm gonna load my game. I don't know if that did anything, but forget it. Can I put it here? No. Is it empty now? Did I pour it out? Must be full. Okay. Shut up. Where are the spiders? Damn, that guy's getting riled up. Downstairs, right? Or wait. Yeah. There's no way this is going to work. This is a stupid idea.
Hey, prepare to die, spiders. Whoops. <laughs> I don't think that did anything. Dude, how do I deal with these damn spiders? Can I start them on fire? Just don't know. Thermal. Hello, greetings. How's it going? I can't get by this guy. They're too buff. Of monstrosity. Unhappy. Of the pit. Stack. Of libraries. <laughs> of strife. He who speaks does not know and believes he is able to kill the creatures mm. of the world. He who of death translator's note. Translator's note. What else can I do here? I want to just drop stuff on them, but it doesn't seem to work. Oh, have I never opened this? Oh, what is this? Is this not healing? J.H.? What is that? Eat, drink. Probably is healing. I need to get by these guys. Excuse me. I'd like to get by now. To do about those spiders. What do I do with the water jug? Hmm. Oh, can I like put out the, the ghost cigar? That'd be cool. I don't think so. This is not gonna work. Oh, it did. Did work. Okay. Wow. I was not expecting that to work. <laughs> oh, another record and a book. Memories by Alistair Boliskin, printed in London, A. Machen, editor, 
It was during a conversation with G that one first heard of the New England fishing village of I. The area was apparently the ideal place from which to witness unusual phenomena in space. Phenomena? The quality of the air, along with the conjunction of several favorable factors, made one impatient to get started. Having gleaned what information one could from the British Museum, one set off with all haste. One's work on space and comets in particular had met with a warm response, and one thought it judicious to include several original sketches of the phenomenon, sketches which one felt were sure to arouse a great deal of keen interest in the scientific circles of 1834. One refers naturally to the passage of Halley's Comet. Editor's Note Lord Bolliskin's memoirs end at this point. Who knows what extraordinary contributions he might still have made had he not succumbed during his visit Damn. to New England to dementia, followed by an early death in St. Andrew's Hospital. Bummer. I hope he didn't, wasn't driven mad. That would be a shame. Okay, so we never went down here because it looks spooky and I stand by that. I really want to get to the record player. Ugh. Damn, what happens if you break the saber? Can you not? I wonder if you can still open this up. I broke that thing so many times. Middle section looks a bit suspect. <laughs> That's why you save. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Let's go with some speed this time. Oh my god. Oh, I'm I'm in that cavern. What is this stuff? Rocks? Be so rad if it actually took you back to DOS. <laughs> it would. Fake exit menu. <laughs> spooky in here Fuck. our boy does this just lead to the other thing no what is this Me. <laughs> Damn, this guy's good. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love the way this guy looks. Can I like trick this guy to eat this rock somehow? I would say no. Doesn't quite look like it.
we? Whoa. What? Hit me. What? How did that happen? <clears throat> wonder if we're supposed to go down here yet. I kind of think maybe not, but who knows? Impossible to know. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Nice. Juked him. Get juked. Did that hurt? What? I don't totally understand, but that's okay. Okay, this guy's really got a hold of me this time. <laughs> Dude, I love the camera angles. Oh, how did he get in front of me? Come this way? Uh oh, we're in trouble. Damn, this guy seems kind of buff. He doesn't get stunned like the other one's dead. I think he got me. Can't run. It's a problem. Oh shit! There we go. <laughs> oh, I went the wrong way. This is a meaner version of these guys. Oh. It's really hard to get away from. Dude, how did he beat me here? A shortcut? Okay, I'm not sure about this underground area. Seems hard. <clears throat> Give it a few tries though. See what's down here. And I'm totally understanding the layout. What? I'm so far.
We missed. Oh, how did he beat me again? What happened to my run animation? How does he beat me? I thought I beat him a couple times. Maybe I gotta really get past that bitey guy quickly. Maybe if I just walk by, he won't notice me. He noticed. Run, you fool. <laughs> God. Save down there so we don't have to do this every time. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I got turned a little bit. <laughs> I got a little bit turned. Here we go. Perfect run. No problems. to sneeze my genius idea was to go back this way now and try to get god this guy is such a bitch because now he's in that tunnel so i want to go where he was i have like one health left probably oh here i am okay well we know where this is this leads to the cellar Which is cool, that's good to know. But that's not where we want to go. Mm, so I wonder if, can we go to the cellar and like draw him away? And then go down here? Dude, what are, we, what are we gonna do about these spiders? If only we could use the rats against them. Team up. Oh, fuck, he's already here? Okay, well that's... Not exactly what I wanted. Was it okay for a bit? So you're still hanging out with this toothy guy? Um, I am. I am. I liked him. I liked him so much I wanted to hang out all night. Chilling. Progress has been made. That's true. We're just back with the toothy guy. Find some stuff. He's coming. Just get out of here. Okay, now we go for the other entrance and maybe he'll have his back burned or something?
Up there, what are you doing? <clears throat> I feel like this is not gonna do anything. <laughs> okay, let's save. We might end up going back to our other save where that bridge is still intact. Now, is this guy going to be moved? That's the real question. No, he's right where he always is. He's going to take that left, though. Maybe we can juke him. <sighs> Eat you. I can't get away from this guy. Okay. I think we gotta kill that guy. by a mile can't see shit uh, can't see this guy's eating those rocks maybe we don't have to kill him maybe we just go this way Like that guy? The big guy? Big boy? Me too. Oh, how did you get here? Oh. Oof. Oh, okay, I know how we got there. So wait a sec. Okay, I just got myself lost somehow. Okay, this guy isn't here yet. Jump. not been down here. No. Oh, what the hell? Is he gonna come up here? Like that guy's moves? Damn, he's a slapper. Got slaps. Oh, not what I wanted. Can I... Okay. Come on. Oh, damn. Just fell off. Oh no! Lamp goes off, the cartridges are wet? What do you mean? Oh, you lose all your rifle ammo? I didn't lose my... No, you don't lose your revolver ammo though. No, I didn't keep my powder dry. <laughs> that is a noob mistake. 
Where did this guy go, too? Uh oh. What? Oh, you can climb out. Okay, well, I think we want to do this over, but. Can we jump? Oh! Dude, platforming in this game? That's crazy. That is crazy talk. Damage boost pog? Oh god. What the fuck is this? Some kind of rat spider? Oh, my powder! Freeze, motherfucker! Oh. Popped him. Now get the knife. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh. What is that? Is that friendly? Can I shoot this guy? Oh, damn, that didn't do anything. Oh, dude, that's sick. I cannot believe there's platforming in this fucking game. I think we want to do that part over, right? Because all our powder got fucking wet. Let's just do it over. I don't want to waste all my ammo. That sucks. Oh. Right. It's okay. You know, you live and learn. And load your game. Am I safe here? <laughs> here he comes. Come on! Come on, asshole! God, I can't run! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why is running so hard in this game? The timing is so specific. <laughs> Let's use some of our ammo right now. see shit though dude oh I think the big guy killed me <laughs> it makes it very funny to watch <laughs> as I like stagger step trying to run stagger step to my doom yeah slowly walking around slurp Can we use this? This would be sick. Okay, I fucked, I fucked that up. I don't totally understand 
why he ignores me sometimes. Is it because I'm quiet? I'm quieter? I think so. Can't see. Can't see. Oh, nice. Two shots is all. Rifle's pretty strong, actually. Where's he going? <laughs> what? I think that's a bug. <laughs> going can I just step off of this yeah okay now let's keep our powder dry that's so important today I wonder what's up with that block in the middle of nowhere Keep powder dry and that nose clean, yeah. Mind your P's and Q's. Don't take wooden nickels. Now maybe we should use our rifle here since it seems like it's a more limited commodity. You get wet, it's gone. Oh god. I wanted to get close and use a knife. I'm regretting that now. Seems like it might be inevitable that we have to like go trudge around in the water. But I don't know. I don't wanna save too many slots because we might wanna go back. Okay, not my best work. <laughs> okay. Did that work? Is this bird even a problem? Hold on, let's try this. Let's just try to jump around. I thought may he looks like he's gonna be a problem, but maybe he's not. Not even bothering me. Get away from me. Oh. <laughs> the jumping in this game is sick. Uh-oh. My powder. I don't know if you can run in the water. Oh yeah, you can, you can. Here we go. Where the heck am I? He's slapping. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, the stun lock. You can fight back. I was just trying to get away. There's a lot of stun lock in this game, but those guys are really fast. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. Kids call it juggling. <laughs> it's true, they do. save it okay hmm. go look at the other route Big spider. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for him. Oh, okay. Okay, I think that whiffed. Hey, spiders do not give a shit about rifles. <laughs> Dude, these spiders are invincible, just like the little ones. There's gotta be a way. Buff ass spider. I know. Firearms are useless against them. They are. Gotta be a, a better way. See ya. <laughs> this game is awesome. <laughs> the end. <laughs> uh, and that game over picture is so sick. <laughs> Look at this picture. Dude. Okay. I think we, I'm satisfied with that direction. Let's go this way. Now what is this? Oh. <laughs> I thought I had search as my equipped action, my ready to action. <laughs> Yeah, bold strategy. Okay. Where are you going? What is this thing? Looks like a sword. But one that I can't pick up? Seems a bit weird. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'm loose. Let's just look around. Oh, there's more swords. Oh, there was a thing about skull and swords and stuff, right? Wasn't there a... Okay. There was a book that I think might have described what to do in here. Guy's trying to give me a hug. I'm not interested. Hmm, do you guys remember that? Do you know what I'm talking about? One of the books. I wonder if it's one of the ones I put away. Memories. By it was during a conversation with G. One's work on space and comets in particular had met with a war. Editor's note. Yeah, those are not helpful right now. <clears throat> Eighteen 
1962. We received a less than hearty welcome. Only Pickford ended, and our host proved the most entertaining conversationalist. While coffee, I remembered campfire tales. Patterson's return chased off. Yeah, not that one. <clears throat> I don't think any of these. The creatures of of monstrosity of the pit. Stagnant waters are like the memory of. I guess these guys are the deep ones. The surface calm. Clawed beasts await and are known to initiates as the deep ones. Awaiting his prey, the deep one seizes him and drags him down to the abyss. <laughs> Where Dagon, the cruel god, swims and reveres him whose name may not be pronounced. Of libraries, he, of <coughs> he who speaks does not know and believes. No. He of death. <coughs> there are domains more terrible than death. That is not dead, which can eternal lie. Translators. No, not that one. I bet I put it away. Yeah, I must have. The guy's starting up his lawnmower. Okay, well, let's take a look before we decide we have to go back and read a book. Better not use the bridges. Oh. Can I fight this guy? I can barely see my character. <laughs> I can't really tell which way he's facing super reliably. God, the way my guy is facing right now. Okay. It's a disaster. Come on, run, you fool. Okay. Walk, I guess. That's fine. <clears throat> hey, we made it over here, at least. What in God's name is this thing? This thing looks hella cursed. I know. It's locked, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Where am I going to get the key? Bring the chest with you. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Look at this, though.
Which way do we go? Uh oh. Um. You're in a forest <laughs> with Heather. Dude, how do I? I don't know if this is gonna work for me. <laughs> what? Am I dead? Yes. Oh man. <clears throat> I wonder if this is what we're supposed to do. It's pretty crazy. Crazy enough it just might work. Um, we get it back onto the bridge. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I want to see this scene though. That's pretty sick every time. Okay, it's just about time to call it a night here. Maybe we'll uh, just do that. Can we push this thing? Oh, we can. Okay. Where does this go? Oh. Now, where am I? I was wondering that. All right. Wait, what is this? <gasps> oh. Oh, okay. Where I came from. And this is nothing? I'm pushing. Seems a bit weird. There's a mechanism to trigger. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
Whoa. What is this? Cool. Yeah, this game is sick. Whoa, what happened? Dude, what is going on? These camera angles. jumped in the dark damn 34 I'm like burning up the oil Dude, what am I looking at here Where am I going? Not even the developers know. I wonder if there's like a map or something somewhere. Like in the house. I'm super lost now. I don't really know where I'm going. I think I'm using up my oil at an alarming rate, which has not been an issue until right now. I don't know why it's going so fast. Maybe all the transitions? I don't know.
I think I'm back near the beginning now. I don't know about this whole cave situation. I feel like there was still stuff I needed to do in the house. And I'm not sure if this, if I can get back. Where am I supposed to go? I'm gonna die in this maze. Wait, this is not right, right? Dude, I don't know where I am. I don't know how to get out of here. But I'm pretty sure this isn't it. Okay, I think we're gonna <laughs> call it a night. I'm trapped in the maze. I don't know, next time we might back up a, or load an earlier save and try to figure out some more house stuff. Yeah, I'm in the Matrix. This? Wasn't this kind of near the beginning? I got caught up down here. Yep, it was. Okay, well that's the maze. Seems tough. Okay, I think we're going to call it a night there. It's about that time. We had a good run. Uh, made a lot of progress. Although I don't know if it's progress in the direction I want to be going. <laughs> which is a confusing thing to think about. But we will check it out next time. Uh, it's Tuesday. I'll be back tomorrow at the same time. And we'll uh, pick it up from here. This game is really cool, but it's pretty hard. They really do not handhold you or tell you what to do at all. It's pretty, o it feels pretty open ended. Like I'm not really sure what I should be doing half the time. Yeah, classic old game things, exactly. I mean, I kind of like that, but. Um, you know, we'll see. So far, so good, I guess. The opposite? Yeah, it is the opposite. They're trying to trick me. It's pretty fucked up. Okay, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, stick around, and we'll I'll find somebody to raid. And uh, have a good night. I'll see you next time. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.